In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to detect whether a user is online or worse, offline, and update the UI accordingly. This is a very useful thing that a lot of people forget under gigabyte broadband and inside localhost where you have access to files instantly. But what happens when a user is relying on a live feed or trying to upload a file and they suddenly go out of internet connection. So with this little trick here, you'll be able to catch the online offline effect and update the UI so that you can help or give the user a nice message to let them know where the problem is or that they're not seeing the latest data. And it's just generally a better user experience. This is the first episode in a series on which we will focus on building more performant applications, or at the very least, a better perceived performance so that all of your users, no matter how shoddy their internet is, have a better user experience. So let's jump into this episode. So I've gone ahead here and created a little bit of boilerplate just to get us started. So right now, the page looks like this. And what I've done to get there is I have a basic index.html setup. I have a div here with the class of app. And inside there, I have what's going to be, I suppose, the magic in this one or what we're going to use is a h1 with the class of status. And we are going to look for something with the class of status and append an online or offline class to it, depending on the network state. The styling is in here as well. I just have that linked here. And I will add the starter code in a link below in case you want to code along or for some reason want these styles. But as you can see, the main thing here is I'm just center aligning everything here with some flex and then adding some status or some green color if we get this online effect and some red if we get some offline. So nothing too complicated on the initial setup, but I know you're here to watch some JavaScript, so I didn't want to bore you with those details. The first thing we're going to do is create our JavaScript. So I'll make a little file called app.js. And before I forget, I'll make sure I link it here by saying the script and source of app.js. So that's all the extra setup you need to do in the index.html. And now our app.js is connected. So we'll be working in here for the rest of the video. So we are going to do two things in here. We are going to create a function to check if we have a network connection and do something like add our online class or offline class, depending on the network status, we're just going to pass that status into it. To get that status, we're going to add an event listener to when the page loads and make sure we check that it's online or offline directly after it loads. And then we're going to add an event listener to update the status if we go online or offline at any time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function called has network. And this is going to just take a Boolean. We're going to use this to change whatever we need to do. So we'll say status or online is probably a better name for it. We'll say online and then in here just for testing sake for now we'll say console.log online cool the next thing we're going to do is listen to see if the page has been loaded and then check if the status is online or offline and then also add the event listeners to check if the status changes at any time so let's start creating our window dot add event listener and we're going to listen to the load event which 
just checks that the page has been loaded. And we'll pass this in a function. We'll just give it an arrow function to make it nice and clean. The first thing we're going to do in here is check what the status is when our page is loaded. So what we're going to use to get that status is inside the navigator object. And the navigator has lots of useful information about the browser or your current session and things like that. So what we're going to be accessing is a thing called online. Now, the thing to be careful here is that online actually has an uppercase L here. So make sure you have that O-N uppercase L-I-N-E so that this works. And this just returns a Boolean of true or false based on the status. So what we can do then, because we know our has network is going to be expecting a Boolean value back, is we can just initially say has network and pass it in the status. So let's save that and jump into the console and see what we have. And as you can see, we have true logged out into the console. Let me make that a little bit bigger. In this instance, we will always get true because there is no way to mock this page uh, as offline when it loads. But in a more sophisticated setup or a nicer user experience, you might have already cached this page for the user. So they might be able to actually see this page when it's offline. So we put this check here just to make sure if there's live data they're expecting or something else that they need that we can tell the user that you're not actually online even though you see this page. Let's jump back into the code and add the event listeners now for status changes. There are two different event listeners that we're going to add here. There is one for online that will be triggered anytime the device comes online. And then there is another one for offline for anytime we hit an offline state. So let's add the event listener for online first. So we'll say window dot add event listener. And we will say online. We'll pass this a function. And then we will say has network is true. So let's copy this because we're going to do the exact same thing except offline and false. So we'll say add the event listener. We'll say offline and false. So we'll save that now. And let's jump back into the page and see if we can see the changes now. Let's refresh the page and we get true. And on our network tab, let's change this to offline. And go back to the console. And now you see false. So we're after listening and getting the offline state and setting it to false. Let's go back and put it to online. Go back to our console and we have true. Perfect. So we're able to detect if we have network on and off now which is pretty cool. So now let's actually update our UI to show the user that they're offline or online. To do this, I'm going to first remove the console log up here because we're not going to need that anymore. And let's make a const called element here. And that is going to be equal to the document dot query selector. And we will look for the dot status that we have already set up. So we're looking for the status class. And then we're going to change anything that's inside there based on if it's online or not. So if online, and we're getting that from the input, we will do element, oh, if I could spell, element dot class list dot add online. So now we can trigger those online styles. And then we'll actually change the text as well. So we'll say element 
dot inner text equals online. Now let's just save that and quickly jump back. And we have our online. Now jump back in and we're also going to be adding the offline one. So just to save us coming back into this block again, we'll also make sure that we're removing element dot class list dot remove offline here. And that's because in the next block, we're going to be adding offline. So we want to make sure we're removing that class anytime we hit the online state. So in here, the first thing then we're going to do is say, I'm going to actually just copy and paste all of this. And we will say, remove online and add offline. And then we'll set this to be offline as well. Let's save that. So we're just adding a new class to the class list besides status and changing the inner text. Let's jump back over. And you'll see currently we have online. And if we go to our network tab and change it to offline, we instantly get that new styling to show the user that we are offline. And if we toggle that back, we are back online. So as you can see, with just a few lines of code, we are able to give a substantially better experience for a user if they require to know if they're online or offline. Now, just to go quickly back over what we learned in this episode, we learned that we have the navigator.online right here, which returns a Boolean based on the network status. And that's what we're gonna to use to check on the initial page load in case the page has been cached for the user. Then we can listen to events for the online and offline and trigger some event then to change our UI. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I would love if you hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you get notified when the next video is out. And until next time, Happy coding.